Hi guys, welcome back to another speed build. Today we have my first ever build using the Jungle Adventure game pack that was just released a day or two ago. And I can tell you now, I freaking love this pack. I love it so much. I was not, I mean, I was excited for new Sims content. I was not that excited about it, but I hadn't really, I hadn't really looked at too much of what the pack had to offer. I like to kind of go in a little bit, uh, a little bit blind. I just sort of see bits here and there on, on YouTube and Twitter. And uh, let me tell you, I am so blown away with what we've got considering it's a game pack. A lot of people are comparing what we got to the Vampires game pack because we got a lot of build and buy and cast items with that pack. Um, I do quickly want to mention I do skip through a lot in this build. I spent quite a lot of time on this sort of just exploring what came with the pack. Um, yeah, just had placed a few things down just for some inspiration, but I end up not really using much of it apart from the vine and a few things in like the lower floor. Now, what I did sort of want to do was create some hills around this house. Now, I have skipped ahead again here a little bit because I, I wanted this to look like really natural, like the, the house, the, the second floor is the house and the first floor is actually, or the ground floor, sorry, is actually like uh, under like a hill sort of thing or like a stone formation and I played around with a few different techniques and, and the lot is quite small and I've actually placed this lot facing <laughs> the wrong way so on the gallery it looks terrible but I did want the house to be sort of lengthways I just didn't realize it's it's facing sideways but regardless <laughs> I wanted this to look like it was sort of in amongst this really thick part of the jungle and unfortunately it doesn't really fit the surroundings like it's quite open around it um it looks hilarious on the map uh there's just nothing and then there's just this lot that's it's all trees but um uh that's fine <laughs> but yeah i wanted this to look like it was sort of in amongst like a sort of stone sort of formation i tried like i said a few different different techniques techniques i can't talk and you know what it's not even hot I can't blame the weather. I'm just terrible. Um, <laughs> I think it's, this is the first night it hasn't been like smoldering hot in my room. Haven't got a fan going and I'm sitting here. I'm quite comfortable. Got a glass of Coke Zero. Uh, loving life right now. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. So basically the idea, I've skipped a bunch ahead again. I've just been way, I spent a very, very long time placing plants and there is a bit of clipping, but it's not too bad. I don't think. Yeah, I just wanted to look really overgrown. You can sort of get an idea here of what the, the look I'm sort of going for is. Now, we have an infinity pool off to the left. Uh, the main part of the house is the second floor. And then and then beneath it, obviously, there's room for the pool because the pool takes up uh, when a pool's on like a second floor or a third floor, it takes up the bottom level. So I've got a little bit of room there. Now, this, this ground floor is a little archaeology de uh, den. And I keep in my head saying architect. So if I say architect at any point in this video, I mean archaeologist. I deal with architects at work. <laughs> I've been talking to architects today and just for some reason, it's just architect in my head. And doing the thumbnail for this, I actually had written architect's den and almost saved it. And I was like, no, it's archaeology. What are you doing, you idiot? Anyway, <laughs> there is a big difference. Um, so I skipped ahead again. I'm sorry, but it's basically just me placing plants, which, you know, we've seen before in pretty much every other video. All I do is place plants. And by the way, this pack has so many cool plants and so many cool landscaping items. I love landscaping. I love building more than furnishing. Um, this pack, I actually, this build, I really enjoyed furnishing it as well and decorating it. Um, but Wow, <laughs> the plants that this comes with, uh, I'm, I'm so, so impressed by. We've got a few recolors of some existing plants. We've got like four or five new trees. I think it's five new trees. Um, we've got new grass. Uh, we've got like that, the sort of mossy bush that kind of covers the ground. And there's one item in the debug mode, which I've used a couple of times on this lot. That's like a bunch of plants, group plans, plants grouped together, which obviously the team have used for the environment surrounding it and it's quite a big object but you can size it down and wow it made things a little bit quicker <laughs> i'm using it i've used it off to the right you can see there's a few ferns um that's actually one whole plant 
from the debug mode and the debug mode debug cheat and yeah it made my life so much easier but wow the 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 ferns the the trees the the flowers are so so beautiful the pool colorings as well we got a beautiful they're like a natural pool like a greeny mossy color i think there's two different versions one's supposed to look like uh more of a swimmable water <laughs> like a uh, almost like a bath you know it's got that milky sort of look to it um and the other one is the one that i've used it's a little bit more of a deeper sort of like a jade sort of color i think could be completely wrong um and we got some amazing wall coverings we got some good concrete walls these tiles are beautiful we've got also an item in buy mode a shower which which is tiled and the tiles actually match this tile wallpaper it is amazing <laughs> but I, I was not expecting that that's actually one of the my favorite things about this game pack like i said i was not looking forward to this game pack too much i was just like you know cool new content that's always good but you know me and pretty much everyone else <laughs> we just want uh seasons <laughs> and i'm sorry to be one of those people i understand seasons going to be an expansion pack it's going to take a lot of time but you know every time something gets teased i'm just like if it's not seasons i don't care but honestly this has blown me away and i'm so happy we have it it's a great addition to the game i haven't even delved into the gameplay yet so i mean it can i guess my opinion of it can only get better from here um yeah, so I am excited to start my Let's Play. I've planned it all out. I'm going to start filming tonight and I will have a video up hopefully tomorrow. I am super excited. I feel like I haven't actually played The Sims in a really long time since I started doing, um, you know, building videos and, and challenge videos. So, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I am so, so excited to actually play. I don't think I've played in weeks. Um, and I'm, I'm also going to have a play around for myself because that is always fun. I mean... <laughs> I do love The Sims, not just for building and making videos. I have grown up with The Sims and I still, even though, you know, I'm, I'm fully into the building side of it, I still enjoy just sitting down and playing it for, you know, hours and hours. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're just doing the layout. Uh, I kind of played around with it a little bit, wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Now, what I have gone for is it's just like a little studio not like an apartment because you know, we're in the jungle but it's like a little just like a little cabin sort of thing um and it, it's only got the necessities really it's not overly decorated and you know it is a rental property so basically if you're if your sim is staying here and they just they're not really an explorer they're not an archaeologist they just want to stay and relax and have a good time they can pretty much satisfy all their needs in this little part of the house but there is also the downstairs which I furnish after this that is like an archaeology den I just sort of added this to make it seem like I don't know it was more of a little getaway location I don't know where I'm going with this I was trying to do like a, a door to sort of open it up to the I guess it's like a natural infinity pool but it wouldn't work <laughs> so I just ended up using these windows which I love so so much yeah, I mean, look, the the new fences, the windows, the arches we got, the the floorboards I've used in the house and these tiles, they're all uh, beautiful. <laughs> and this is so different to what I normally like, but I am in love with everything. I think I love absolutely everything in this pack. There's nothing I really have an issue with. Um, apart from, I love the new counters. It's a pity that we don't have matching shelves. Um, but that's, uh, that's really my only sort of gripe with them. Uh, oh, I don't think there's much else I really have an issue with at all. Um, but yeah, this balcony here, I'm really sorry. It's just, it's just an, like for aesthetics, it's not actually functional. Cause, because mainly because I couldn't figure out where to put stairs and your sims can't actually go up here and enjoy the view. I'm so sorry. I'm sure, I mean, you could delete some plants and add like a side staircase if you really wanted it. But I don't think it really warrants i don't know I, you've got everything you need in the house <laughs> i'm sure you if you have the uh if you have the teleport mod teleport your sims up there <laughs> yeah so now we're just going to furnish i don't think i take i take a little bit of time because i like i like i said this is my first time with the uh with the pack so it kind of play around with the, the different swatches and a few different items and i think i was sort of going for more of a deep sort of 
uh, I guess rustic sort of vibe, but I end up going pretty colorful and I'm not sorry about that at all. Um, I did not know we were getting a new fridge and a new stove and I love them. They're so like kind of like retro. It's almost like a fifties sort of vibe and they're really cute. I'm so stoked to have a new fridge and it doesn't, I think it comes in a white swatch. I'm not sure if it comes in a black swatch, but I mean, it's so colorful. The red, uh, especially the red fridge is beautiful and I'm going to use it for sure in a build. I am hundred percent. And even though it's got a matching stove, I can see it really sort of tying in with that parenthood stove. I can't remember what walls I go for. I think orange or yellow walls. But yeah, I wanted to sort of make everything seem really warm and inviting. And I think it ends up looking really colorful, but not over the top. Like it doesn't really look out of, out of, out of the place, <laughs> out of place. Um, but yeah, there's also, oh, probably my favorite item in the pack is the uh, mirror that leans on the wall. Uh, I like the color swatches. I just wish there was like a really bright yellow or something because there's a lot of blue. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it's gorgeous. It is a shame that we have, you know, there's so many wall decorations in this pack, but there, I don't think there's any actual, apart from the wall cracks, there's no like actual painting. And it would be really cool if we had some paintings that were sort of inspired by these colors. But I think from City Living, you can sort of tie in what we have to this pack. Um, so I have noticed doing this that, you know, it does kind of suit some items from Laundry Day and it does kind of suit some items from City Living and Outdoor Retreat. So I think they've done a really good job of tying everything in together. Uh, yeah. Uh, this dressy here, uh, is from Cats and Dogs or is it Laundry Day? Who knows? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Like I was saying, the the packs tie in together so well, even though this is like nothing we've had before, everything just sort of goes together in a weird kind of way. And I'm really happy with it. Oh my God. I just hit myself in the head. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> I gesture so wildly when I do commentaries, like... I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like flailing my arms around the room. It's it's a wonder that um that I haven't broken some stuff. Speaking of my room, I redid my office. I posted some photos on Twitter. Uh, I didn't buy anything new for it. I just shifted things around, and the desk now is in the middle of the room. It kind of faces like as you walk in the door. It looks all real professional. But yeah, I've got like a little background in that for um when I upload my. Subnautica Let's Play finally and I'm thinking about doing like Knights of the Old Republic which is my favorite video game in the world but I'm thinking about doing something like that um, and, or another game but I mean it, this is primarily going to be a Sims channel but I just love video games so much so I'm thinking even Stardew Valley which I have played before but you know it'd be nice to sort of share my experiences and upload them on YouTube but I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I know no one's probably interested, but it's not that it's not really about that. It's just something that I've always wanted to do. So I'm going to do it. Uh, this is the little kitchen nook. I was just going to have a like a microwave and that's about it. But I decided actually I realized that there was a matching stove and that's when I was like, I'm getting rid of this microwave. I'm going to put a stove in. So the, I mean, the house is kind of it, it is small. Uh, and it's only really, I just sort of had like one or two people in mind. Like maybe it's a little getaway. Yeah, they, like I said before, like pff, what, 15 minutes ago? <laughs> the idea is that this is sort of a versatile lot. So you can just come here if your Sims want a little bit of a getaway. Or if they are an archaeologist, you know, you've got somewhere to sleep up here. But most of the time will be spent either in the jungle or in the like the ground level of this build. Um I did all of this last night, so all of the exterior furnishing and the first floor, I had a staff meeting last night and I had to hang back at work. So basically it takes me an hour to get to work and I've, uh, an hour to get home and the <laughs> I work 7 till 3.30 and the staff meeting was at 5. So <laughs> it's kind of bad, <laughs> it's kind of awful actually whenever there's a staff meeting. I have to basically just stay at work for an extra hour and a half. Um, yeah, I mean, I could go off and do something, go get a coffee, but it's kind of frowned upon. So, you know, whatever. I just had a huge day yesterday and the staff meeting went until about 6.30. So I got home, you know, after that. And the first thing I did was installed 
um, Jungle Adventure. And at the same time, I also got spooky stuff. So now I own every pack and I don't want to know how much money I spent on this game. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know. I think someone calculated it on Reddit the other day saying like, if you own all the packs, this is how much money you spent. And I was like, Ugh. Um, I think it was something like that. But yeah, and I, I did this downstairs just before, like literally just before I started uh, doing this commentary. So yeah, I I was planning on doing the whole build last night, but I finished, by the time I finished like what I'd done, it was like ooh, 10 o'clock and <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I just want to go to bed. Like I'd had such a huge day and I wish I'd gone to bed earlier because today was a struggle at work. I, <laughs> I tell you what, I was sitting at my computer and I don't know if anyone else has had this experience before and it's, it's not great. <laughs> it's pretty bad actually. I was sitting there and I could feel my eyes droop. I could not, like I literally could not keep my eyes open and they started to go like cross-eyed. Like I could feel that it was just, my vision was just going and I was like, oh my God, I feel like I'm going to pass out. Like I don't think I've been that tired in a long time. Like I am perpetually tired. Um, I feel like a lot of people <laughs> around my age just seem to be always tired. I don't know if, it, if it's an age thing um, because I'm old. But um, yeah, <laughs> it was not good. So in retrospect, I probably should have gone to bed a lot earlier. And speaking of, I should probably go to bed like now. But uh, I just wanted to get this video out. <laughs> uh, I'm just so excited about this pack and I want to share what I've done. My... um. My next build is going to be a modern villa and I'm so excited to play with uh, some sort of more modern aspects plus some of the new items, but it is mostly going to be about the landscaping. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to be doing, you know, fountains, infinity pool, blah, 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 sauna, spa, all that jazz. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've been having a look at actually the Sim Supply said something really similar. I have a Pinterest board actually um, called Jungle. Is it like Jungle Aesthetic or something? Anyway, I'll link it down below. But um, Sim Supply did upload a really modern build, and oh my god, it is so good. He is so so talented. I'm not going to fangirl about him this whole video, but wow, <laughs> it was really really nice build, and. I had seen similar, I think the house maybe he drew some inspiration from might be on this Pinterest board and it was just a, it was a funny coincidence because I was sort of in the midst of um, scrolling through Pinterest when I got the notification that he'd uploaded the video and I was like, wow, yeah, it was just bizarre. But um, yeah, I think my next build is going to be a modded one, very similar, but I'm thinking of doing like quite a, a large sort of villa with a few different areas. Um, yeah, I, I like basically <laughs> what I mean is I can't wait to play with this stuff and see how it ties into the more modern items because, yeah, it's exciting. I love modern stuff and I'm sorry if you don't. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I feel like we see a lot of modern architecture in Australia because we are a younger country, um, a, a younger established country, I should say. And yeah, it just makes me... I don't know. I feel like I can relate more to modern builds. That doesn't mean I don't like watching non-modern builds because I love watching me some like suburban, traditional, rustic sort of cottage homes. I just don't feel like I can pull it off as well because I don't really see that kind of architecture around unless I look at images. And it's just different when you're exposed to something all the time, like driving around work to like to and from work. All you see is modern architecture. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't fit this display case in anywhere. I probably could have sized it down and fit it somewhere, but I have a feeling sizing it down will cause the issue that you have with tables and surfaces when they're sized down in that um, things won't place on it properly, like the slots are all messed up. But yeah, but I do fit a little pop-up, uh, I almost said architect table, little pop-up archaeology table in here. And I just sort of furnish it a little bit with some collectible items. And I think it ends up looking really cute. Not too cold and boring like I sort of originally, I think I end up changing the walls and the floor possibly. But I start to slowly introduce some color because I realize it's, it's looking a bit boring and stark and, you know, just cold. And that's not really what I want. I love this rug as well. It is uh, gorgeous. Every single swatch is nice. <laughs> and by the way, those plates are so expensive. I wanted to put them everywhere, but I also didn't want this house to be thousands of dollars to rent per day. 
it is like $1,100. So heads up, I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's like 1100 1170 a day or something, which is a lot. But I 100% put it to this plate because <laughs> it's like an 8,000 simoleon plate. So odd simoleon dollars, uh, whatever. I am hanging out for a round coffee table that is uh, four squares. Absolutely hanging out for it. Someone, a beautiful custom content creator. I cannot remember their name, but I do have it in my game. I've got I've got custom content turned off at the moment, but um, because I have a few script mods and lighting mods that that mess up when I upload to the gallery. But there is someone who's gone through and made quite a few laundry day inspired items, and they've turned the laundry day dining table into a coffee table. So it's like a little shorter version of it, and it's gorgeous. So I hope they do the same with um with the dining table we got in this pack because we got a round dining table too. We're almost done. Um, I think basically I'm just sort of adding some finishing touches, changing a few colors around, making it look really warm and lovely. And I remember at the last minute that I haven't got a bookshelf in the house, which seems ridiculous. If you're an architect, oh my God, please. <laughs> if you're an archeologist um, staying in this place, you might want a bookshelf. Uh, yeah, this lantern is cute as well. I place it all around the room. I really love the way the lighting looks in this room, uh, but you have to check it out yourself. Unfortunately, I didn't get any screenshots at night, but the pool lit up and all the, the, the plants and that around the house, the jungle, it looks gorgeous at night. So I do recommend popping this in your game and having a look. Hopefully you like the build guys. Like I said, my next one will hopefully be a pretty modern villa and it'll be a big build. So it might be two or three videos. We'll see how we go. I'm gonna leave you to the screenshots. My origin ID is Bateri Sims if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. I hope you are enjoying the pack if you've got it. And I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.